people, they only see the outcome, but they don't know what really goes into it. The guys used to spit on Tony back in the day. It was so discouraging that I was gonna quit. How in the world could this guy be the world champion and just walk away from it? My dad, you know, he never wanted me to skate. And he goes, you're going nowhere in life and I'm doing this to save you. I was miserable at everything I tried to do. I rode a bike, tried to do a wheelie, the front wheel fell off, I crashed. Skateboarding, it was the first time I was good at something. <laughs> Not only were they unknown, they were all picked as a very young crew. When we got into skating, you did not become rich or famous if you were good at skateboarding. No one did, no matter how good you were. I just remember looking at my arms and the goosebumps, and I, just, I just witnessed history. It was the moment where skateboarding became skateboarding. Hawk just got bigger and bigger every time I came out of jail. I was pushing a shopping cart, Hawk was on a Slurpee cup. I'm here in representation of thousands of other kids who worship those guys as well and whose lives that those guys changed. When I started skating, it gave me a sense of identity, it gave me a sense of self-confidence, it, it gave me a purpose. Teachers would reach out, is he autistic or I, I don't know. Skateboarding, what it represented, the ability to create, to express myself, it became my voice. I just look back at my life and I feel so blessed to be a part of this whole scene.